in this question trains a and b start traveling at the same time towards each other and uh, they are starting from x and y respectively so a is here b is here let's say this is x this is y they start traveling towards each other train a reaches station y in 10 minutes so a goes from x to y in a total time of 10 minutes and b takes 9 minutes to reach the station after meeting train a so let's say there is this point c where these two people meet or these two trains meet after that train b takes 9 minutes to reach its destination now we have to figure out the total time taken in minutes by train b to travel from station y to station x now there are multiple ways of solving this one way of looking at it is the concept of what happens when two trains cross each other and then take x and y minutes respectively to reach the destination right so you can say square root of something upon something has to be the uh, or the inverse of that has to be the ratio of the two speeds and so on we can also use a basic way to figure it out as well so let's say train b takes t minutes to go from y to c so till the meeting point let's say train t takes uh, t minutes we can also say that train a started at that same point in time it met train b at this point c it would have also taken t minutes to cover this distance we know that train a covered the entirety of the distance in 10 minutes if the first part was covered in t minutes the second part will be covered in 10 minus t minutes we also know that they have been traveling at a constant speed throughout so in the first case if you look at the distance traveled by train a from a to c and the distance traveled by train b from uh, c to x rather we can say that they have covered the same distance so can i say that speed of a upon speed of b when distance remains the same is nothing but inverse of the amounts of time taken right so speed of a divided by speed of b will be nothing but time taken by train b to go from c to x that is 9 minutes divided by time taken by train a to go from x to c that is t minutes similarly i can also say that s a upon s b for this part right will be nothing but time taken by a to go from c to y which is 10 minus t units right and time taken by uh, train b to go from c to y which is t units but because this is inverse so when distance is constant speed is inversely proportional to time so s a upon s b will be time taken by train b to go from y to c which is nothing but t divided by time taken by train a to go from c to b which is 10 minus t so we can say that 9 by t is the same as t upon 10 minus t because both of these are the same we can easily figure out 90 minus 9 t is equal to t square right or we can say t square plus 90 minus 90 is equal to 0 right don't get confused between 90 and 90 right uh, so there are two different things now we need to split this 90 into two parts such that the product is minus 90 so we can say that the factorization will be t plus 15 into t minus 6 equals 0 because 15 sixes or 15 into minus 6 is 90 and 15 plus minus 6 is 9 so that's when we get t equals minus 15 or t equals 6 now time taken cannot be minus 15 so time taken has to be equal to 6 so this t will be equal to 6 but the question does not ask you how much time does it take for b to go from y to c it asks us how much time is taken by train B to go from Y to X. So, 6 units is what it took for train B to go from Y to C. 9 units is what it took train B to travel from C to X. So, cumulatively, it would have covered the entire distance in 9 plus 6 or 15 minutes to go from station Y to station X. 